Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use continue and break statements. So let's start with the continue statement. And let's say we want to have a loop that outputs every number between 1 to 20 except for numbers that can be divided by 4. So let's say for um, just to get started, we output every number from zero, from 1 to 20. So we start with i, initialize i to 1. We want to output every i, if i is less than or equal to 20. So we output i, and after the loop, we add a line break. When we run this, we get all the numbers from 1 to 20. So what we want to exclude here is the 4, the 8, the 12, the 16, and 20. So we could do this uh, with a condition and just output the values when it's not this, but in this case I want to demonstrate how to use the continue statement. So in this case what we do is we add a condition if i mod 4, so when we can divide by 4 and we don't have a remainder, when the remainder is 0, we want to continue with our loop. So we just add continue semicolon. What this will do is it will initialize to i. Now i mod 4 is 1, so it, it doesn't enter the if block, so we'll output 1 here. Increment 1 to 2. 2 is less than 20. It'll then perform 2 mod 4, which is still 2. I'll skip this. Output 2. 3 the same. And now when we have 4, it will do 4 mod 4, which is 0, I will enter it, see the continue, and the continue is basically skip this iteration. So continue will jump right back to the update operation. And basically skip the remaining part of this, of the condition. So when we run this, we can see that it will output all the values, but it continue to the next operation whenever we had 4. So 4 is missing, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So this can be helpful when you just want to check something, check some value and you want to skip this iteration based on a certain value. Um, note that this skips just the iteration, it doesn't break out of the loop. This is what the break statement is for. So break means um, we just want to break out of the loop, we want to stop the loop. So let's do the break example next. Let's say we want to output the squares. Um, and we want to output 1, 4, 9, um, 16, 25, and so on. Except when square can be divided by 5. Or not, not accept, but to stop. That's what I meant to say. We want to stop when the square can be divided by 5. And this could continue. So we want to output values from 1 to, let's say, the squares from 1 to 100. And this is somewhat of a contrived example because we can see right away this this can be divided by 5. But let's just use this to demonstrate how the break statement works. So I start out by with i and initializing it to 1. Now in this case I want to output not when i is 100, but when this i squared is 100. So I do here i times i is less than 100 and I increment i by 1. And here I output square, so i times i followed by space and at the end I also put a line break. So let's run this and see what we have so far. So I get 1, 4, 9 and everything until 100. Note that I wouldn't do here, if I wouldn't wouldn't do i squared, it would go a lot further. So you can see we get a lot more because it just checks i, it doesn't check actually the square of i. So 
let's add this back in and run this and now um, what we want to do is we want to add or check some condition inside our loop if we want to continue or not so we do here if i times i mod 5 is 0 we want to stop the loop and that means we break out of the loop so this is what the break statement will do so if I run this again you can see it will output when, when it's 25 it won't even output the 25 because it will enter the condition here and break out of the loop so let's run this you can see it stops at 16 even though our condition that we have up there would technically continue so when i is 5 it performs i times i which is 25 25 mod 5 is uh, 0 and then checks is the remainder 0 is it 0 this is true and enter the then block see the break statement and break means break out of this loop so it'll continue it, it adds the line break here and then continue with the program so this demonstrates you how to use continue and break statements continue just skips the current iteration and continues with a loop break terminates the entire loop and continues the program after the loop i hope this gives you some idea how to use them they are they are not used very often but they are they can be handy in certain situations so I know that they exist. Thank you for watching.